Hey everybody, in today's video, we're going to learn all about Asian and Pacific American Heritage Month. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe for more fun and educational videos just like this. So let's learn more about Asian and Pacific American Heritage Month. Let's go! Asian and Pacific American Heritage Month started in the year 1977 as a 10-day celebration of Asian Pacific American contributions to the United States of America. Asian and Pacific American Heritage Month is also known as AAPI. Asian and Pacific American Heritage Month was the idea of a congressional staffer who was named Jeannie Ju. Jeannie Ju first approached Representative Frank Horton about the idea of selecting a month to recognize Asian and Pacific Americans. Then in the year 1992, President George H.W. Bush signed a law extending the celebration to the entire month of May. Asian and Pacific American Heritage Month celebrates two major events in history. The first was the arrival of the first Japanese immigrants to the United States on May 7th in 1843. And we will learn more about this in just a moment. The second was the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad on May 10th in 1869. You might be wondering, a railroad? And that's because the Transcontinental Railroad was mostly built by over 20,000 Chinese immigrants. As we mentioned a moment ago, May 7, 1843 was the day a 14-year-old boy named Manjiro arrived in America. He was the first Japanese immigrant. However, the first Asian immigrants came to the United States over 250 years earlier than that in the year 1587 when Filipinos first began migrating to California. From this point on, immigrants continued to come from the Asian continent and the Pacific Islands through the year 1920 when the first Samoans were registered in the state of Hawaii. So, you might be wondering, why is Asian and Pacific American Heritage Month important to recognize? Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders are the fastest growing demographic in the United States. And this large group of people represent almost 7% of the entire United States population. Yet, the experiences of this entire group have long been disregarded and also misunderstood. The term Asian American was created in 1968. Before then, the many different people from that part of the world were identified by their specific countries. They were known as Japanese Americans or Vietnamese Americans, for example. Today, Asian and Pacific American heritage includes people with connections to the Far East from China and Korea, as well as Southeast Asia like Cambodia and Thailand. Even people from India and Pakistan, as well as the Pacific Islands including Hawaii, Guam, and the Samoan Islands. And since Asian and Pacific American Heritage Month started, people who come from Asia and the Pacific Islands have used this month of May to strengthen their voices and their pride for their heritage. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know a little bit more about Asian and Pacific American Heritage Month. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure you subscribe.